I have two students out with me, Katrina and my student Neil, and we're looking at advancing the rotation in their body into the swing and the left arm and how the left arm plays a part in restricting rotation. Okay. Now, in this clip here of Neil, you can really see how the timing of the left arm and the lack of extension draws his elbow in. Now, the elbow drawing in like that creates a huge problem for rotation because it creates kind of a barrier. And this is an all too common issue that a lot of players have that they don't really recognize what's going on. The rotation is restricted there, as you can see the elbow going inward like a bear hug, and the body can't necessarily come around uh, to completely strike the ball. So the, um, the whole process is easy to correct, and here I am demonstrating it. And the first thing that we're going to do with Katrina and Neil is look at extending the left arm so that as the ball approaches, the ball is just outside the reach of my arm. Now that's important because if I'm if I've got my arm tucked back like this, I'm telling myself to get too close to the ball. I really need my arm extended so that the distance from the ball is much further and it's just beyond my reach. Now, as the arm is extended, it the elbow draws back. It's a little bit high and that allows me to turn and rotate into the ball without the arm getting in the way and preventing the rotation. And that's what we're trying to look at. This is where the attention needs to be. It's really looking at the left arm and how to utilize it correctly. Here's Neil again. This is the earlier video and you see he draws the elbow back too early. It does come up, but the process of swinging is drawing it in. Katrina does the same thing. We'll see it here. Her elbow's too close, so she's drawing. And she is catching the racket. A lot of people would say, well, don't you catch the racket? Yeah, but even with a, an arm not extended, she's catching the racket and bringing it up. But without the arm extended, we're not getting good rotation. So let's look at it now. We've, we've changed it a little. She, her arm is out. Ah, now she's drawing the elbow back. And we're getting that nice rotation into the ball. She's keeping her head down. She's looking at the ball all the way into contact. But the left arm is out and extended. And then she is drawing the elbow back, timed with her forehand swing, allowing her to rotate into the ball. And this corrects a big problem that a lot of people just don't necessarily see. Um... It takes time. It's something you need to pay attention to. Now, Neil is going to be working on also a step here. He's going to lead with a crossover step. And that was a uh, nice arm out extended, elbow back. Arm extended, elbow back. Now, by what I was mentioning about the step, he, it's a crossover step first. So that it's going to be left leg. Here comes the left leg, right leg, and that way the right leg lands in the correct position for that ball strike. So the first step is going to be that left leg first. But look at how much improved he's beginning to get the arm extended. He's beginning to draw the elbow back and time it with his swing, and that makes a huge impact. Something easy to correct just takes a little attention to achieve.